I managed to get from level 1 to a level 90 Omnicrafter in just two months. Let's have a look at how I did it so you can see how you can do it too, shall we? Hi guys, so a couple of months ago I was the guy sitting there saying crafting's not for me. I don't like it. I don't enjoy it. My ADHD brain won't let me sit there and just craft thousands upon thousands of items through the crafting log just going one by one by one by one. It was so tedious, so boring. I just the idea of doing that for all eight different classes was just mind-numbing, just even thinking about it. Now, two months later, I'm an Omnicrafter. I have everything at level 90. Uh, my miner and my botanist are level 90. My fisher's in the 60s. So it's going pretty well, actually. Um, so I kind of wanted to take the time to kind of break it down and I guess show you how I did it. And that way, maybe you can do it too. So starting off for level 1 to 20, I am afraid you will have to use the crafting log. Please, please, I know, I know, don't click away from the video. Trust me, it's only going to be three items you have to craft. You have to craft a few of them, but only three items, and it's really quick and really simple. Okay? Trust me. So starting off, uh, you're only going to craft... I guess let's call them the material crafts. So an example you see here is the maple lumber. Uh, that one particularly is on carpenter, but it's a really simple, easy craft. In fact, the actual materials from them, you can get them in the crafters guild. Like as you can see here, you can just go to the vendor, buy the materials you need, and you can do the craft. You don't even have to worry about gear or anything. It's stupid easy. So what I would suggest and what I did was I bought 99, a full stack, of each material so in this case you've got the maple locks from then go into your crafting log and craft one of that particular crafting recipe in this case maple lumber once you've got that one done don't have to worry about high quality or anything just get that craft done just once just use your use your synthesis get it done next step the next step is quick synthesis when you click on this button here it allows you to then basically set the game to automatically craft however many you, you, are, you tell it to. So what you want to do is you want to tell it to craft the maximum. It tells you what the maximum you can do based on your materials is. Put that number in, click OK, and wait. In fact, you're not even going to have to do anything during this point in time because the game's going to do it all for you. You just have to sit back and relax. Maybe go watch a YouTube video. I've got a few of them you could enjoy. Just saying. Once that's done, Go on to the next tab, the next tier of crafts, see what the next material craft is, go to the vendor, buy the mats for it, do the same thing. Repeat that until you're level 20. It'll probably take you 10, 20 minutes for each class, like per class. It's really quick, really simple, and you don't have to do anything for most of it. Once you reach level 20, that's when you can move on to the very next step, the next phase of this process specifically Ishgard restoration now I am by no means saying this is the best way to level a crafter all I'm saying is this is how I did it and it seemed pretty damn fast for me the first thing you want to do is unlock the firmament in fact you'll have to unlock the firmament to actually be able to do this so what you need to do is you need to go to Ishgard and you'll see a recruitment notice that you can interact with yes it's a piece of paper on the wall near the eighth right so just go Find that, click on it, and it'll start a quest chain. Finish that quest chain, you'll have the firmament unlocked with everything you need. You'll have the diadem, you'll have Ishgard restoration, everything you need. Diadem I'll touch on in a different video when we start looking at gatherers. Please note, you will have to have finished the Heaven's Ward base MSQ 3.0 first. Once you've unlocked the firmament, you can go into the crafting log. Yes, I know. But if you click on this button that you can see on screen now, that'll bring up the collectibles part of the crafting menu. Once you've clicked on the collectibles tab, Scroll down and you'll see Ishgard Restoration. In that section, there are multiple different kind of sections or subsections. What you want is Ishgard Restoration 4. At least at the time of writing, it's 4. It might change in 6.1, I don't know. But click on that and you'll see that there is a very, very small list of items that you can craft. Those are what you want to focus on now. Each one of them is broken down by level, so you've got your level 20, your level 40, etc, etc. So you want to go through and craft each one as much as you can. I would say maybe 60 to 80 items for each tier, as it were. 
and you want to make sure that your collectability i.e the high quality rating is as high as possible because you get the exp boost when you hand them in for the higher the quality and believe me that exp boost is delightful you are going to want it as high as possible to help with that Desperius actually made a really great macro guide for the Ishgard restoration so I will link that in the description of the video those macros helps me to no end because it will basically just click the macro button let the craft happen so it ended up being just 60 to 80 clicks and that's it and that will get you up through each tier so it becomes really really easy doing this will power level you so fast because of the amount of exp you get for each individual hand in that you'll be done so fast so quick you'll probably find it unbelievable but not only that doing this way actually prepares you for the next stage final stage of the process is actually quite similar to a card restoration anyway as i was saying it kind of prepares you for it you're going to be looking at collectibles again Firstly, you want to make sure that you finish the Inscrutable Tastes quest, which you can find in Foundation. Once you've done that, you'll be able to visit Idleshire, Ralgar's Reach, uh, Yulmore, and Charlian, and actually go and speak to the Collectibles Appraiser, although there will be an NPC next to the Collectibles Appraiser you'll have to speak to first to actually gain access to it. However, because you're now level 71 after doing the Ishgard Restoration, if you went that far anyway, the only areas we're specifically looking at from a leveling point of view are Yulmor and Razadhan. From here, it works kind of similar to the Iskard Restoration. Speak to the Collectibles Appraiser and you'll see a list of the collectibles that are available to you for your level. Some of them have higher XP gains, some of them aren't quite as good, but always go for the ones that you can craft. You can craft to the highest possible collectability and have the best EXP. And craft again maybe 20 25 of each one and you'll shoot through them and that'll get you well first obviously you're more that'll get you from 71 to 80 and then at 81 you can start doing the ones in charlian to get you from 81 to 90 and it's that simple for that one level in between though well you could do custom deliveries you could do your crafting log uh, basically do whatever you want because it's only one level there are leave or is it leave or lev quests whatever they're called those are in charlian they start at level 80 stupidly easy to do get them done three or four with hq items you can even buy them on the market board if you really needed to just to get that one level done and then go straight back to the collectibles and that will get you all the way up to 90 and you're done so yeah as you can see it's actually really easy to do <laughs> so much faster than i was thinking it was going to be originally anyway uh it's probably worth mentioning as well that while I say it took me two months I was actually doing other content at the time um, on top of that I was well, I was only playing eight hours a week so really didn't take very long at all when you actually add up the amount of hours it's probably really the best way I can think of to do it's or possibly not the best way out there but it's the best way I can think of and it worked really well for me it is super fast really easy the macros make it so you barely have to do anything and you can just sit and watch stuff while you're doing it you could even do it whilst doing other things you could do your vacuuming whilst the macros are going however you want to do it but anyway i hope you found this useful if you did a like share and subscribe would obviously be really appreciated and if you have any questions you can drop them in the comments below or you could stop by my twitch streams when i'm live and just ask me directly but either way thanks for watching happy crafting